Woods. Welcome to Story Street. Mail call. Fredward, I've got a letter for you. A letter? Wow! I can't wait to see what it is, Miss Kristen. Hey, let's open it together. Of course. Here you go. Oh, I know this letter. It goes t t. Friends, do you know what letter this is? <laughs> That's right. T, the letter T. That's so exciting. Hey, let's play a game with our new letter. Which of these dinosaurs starts with the letter T? Friends, do you know? <laughs> That's right. That triceratops. T T. Triceratops starts with the letter T. It sure does. And Fredward, you know, another word that starts with T is teacher. Here on Story Street, we are learning that Jesus is our greatest teacher. And today, we get to learn what Jesus teaches about teaching. Wow, I can't wait to learn more. Friends, turn on your listening ears and let's see what's happening on, on Story, Story Street. Street. Uh, are you ready for your redemption round? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Whoa. Bye, Fredward. We'll miss you. Have fun. Well, oh, hi, Daniel. Where is Fredward going? Oh, uh, Fredward told us earlier he's gonna go travel and tell his friends all about Jesus and what he's been teaching us through God's word. Wow, that's super cool. It sounds like Fredward is going off to be a missionary. A mission what now? A missionary, someone who travels to different parts of the world to teach other people about Jesus. You know, like Paul from the Bible. Wait, wait, wait. The Bible talks about traveling around to tell others about Jesus? It sure does. And Paul is a great example of that. Paige, here, let's take a look in the very best book. Friends, which, which book, book is, is the, the very best? best? The, the Bible. Bible. The, the Bible. Bible. I said, which, which book, book is the, the very best? best? The, the Bible. Bible. The Bible. Bible. In the book of Acts in the Bible, we learn about a man named Paul who has been changed by Jesus in a big way. In fact, Paul had been changed by Jesus so much that he wanted to tell others about him too. The Bible says that Paul prayed and listened to God, and God gave him places to go. What was he supposed to do in all these different places? That's a great question, Daniel. You see, Paul had been changed, and not just a little, a whole lot. So, Jesus wanted Paul to travel to different cities and tell people about how Jesus made him blind, changed his heart, gave him the gift of the Holy Spirit, and saved him from his sins. But Jesus saved all of his followers from sin? Exactly. And he loves each and every one of us. But if you don't know about Jesus, how, how will you know what he did? You see, Jesus asked Paul to travel a lot of places so everyone could know Jesus. This is what Jesus did when he lived on earth. He traveled around to tell others about God's love. He was teaching us what we should do. Listen to some of the places that Paul went. He went to Rome, Caesarea, Jerusalem, Ephesus. He went a lot of places to talk about Jesus. And at every location, more and more people came to know what Jesus did for them. And the church grew. His travels were called missionary journeys. Wow, Jesus wants us to tell others about him. Jesus teaches us so much and now he wants us to share those things with others. Yes, every time we tell someone about Jesus, we are a missionary too, just like Paul. We should tell everyone about Jesus and how he saved us. That's right. We want everyone to know about him and believe they are loved and have a very special place in God's family. Hmm, maybe I need to think of a place to travel to. If Jesus teaches us to teach others, then I better be on my way. But you know what, Daniel? We don't have to travel around the world to be a missionary. If you tell your family and your friends and your neighbors about Jesus, you're being a missionary right where God put you. Maybe you could start by teaching them our memory verse. Friends, do you remember it? Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Psalm 86, 11. That's such a great verse, Paige. Friends, when we say, I will walk in your truth, it means that we want to obey the things that Jesus teaches us. It is one way to show him love by following his word, the Bible. I think it's just about time to wrap things up. So let's do our special poem and pray. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Help us to remember that we can be missionaries, just like the Apostle Paul, and we can share the gospel. We love you. Amen. All right, let's sing and dance. Hi guys, I'm Ethan, and I'm Ethan, and I'm Owen, and we're back for another Moment of Random. So today, uh, some of you OGs might know what's about mm. to happen, but we got some fan mail, and we're about to open it up, and mm. we're going to answer some of your guys. questions, or yeah, just yeah. react to what you guys oh, have yeah. to say. So it's, been, Owen, it's been a while since the last fan mail. This out? table about to fall apart. Hold on. Okay. Dear Owen and Ethan, one time I saw a dump truck right outside my house. And that comes from Luke. I mean, a lot of you guys may not know, but we had this conversation about dump trucks a while ago, mm -hmm. and how there's, I think it was like 15 of them. There's only 15 there's of them There's only in the 15 bulldozers. So the the fact bo that wait, he saw it wasn't one, bulldozers? Same thing, same, same thing. Same thing, So the fact that he saw one is like kind of crazy. Like, so I like, mean, like, there's only you, man. 15 that's, that's dump rare. trucks that's in the rare. whole world, and he saw a dump truck in front of his house? Luke, I know you also wrote a book of the Bible, but that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, all right, all right. Why are clouds white if water is clear? Oh, and this is a question for you, being yeah, like being an ologist of all ologies. So, I'm like, a cloud ologist, as you guys know. I'm an ologist on a lot of things. And clouds are one of them, clouds are no exception. So the reason that clouds are white is because the water is clear, but then God was like, takes like a white paintbrush and he's like, to all the, all the clouds, and he's like. That's pretty smart. Or when water freezes, you know how it's like snow? That, that might also be. Part of the reason that because it's like so cold, it's like, like God paints like clouds. Are, it's like I, paint. It's like MS Paint. Whenever you just like hit the, they don't know what that is. The button and then the, Ethan and Owen. Which goes faster, a car or a goose? That's actually a really good question. I have no clue. If a goose is like flying at top speed, I'm pretty sure a car can go faster. I don't think a goose will beat it. Um. So, uh, geese weren't part of my field of study in the ology mm. school. If you took a really fast car, I don't think a goose is beating it. But if you take Owen's car, for example, it's really, really slow. I mean, I think a goose would beat that in any race, no matter what it is. You might be no right. What you is. might be right. All right. I want to make videos like you. What should my show be called? Should I let my brother help me? And this comes from Bowen. Okay, first off, yes, you should let your brother help you. It's nice to have a partner, even though they can be kind of silly sometimes. Um, exactly. It, it's, second it's off, great. It's second great. Off, I like the name Bowen. It's just like me, with, but with a B. I, I mean, that, that is a pretty good name. Me right, with for, a B. For show, I think it should be. Um, I don't know, what, 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 if your friend or brother's name is Beethan, then it could be Bowen of Bandom. And then you just like, hi, I'm Bowen and I'm Beethan. 
And we're bringing that, you guys that'd back. That'd be really similar to what we do then. All right, all right. This one says, will there be dinosaurs in heaven? You know, I have no clue. That is a very That's good question. That's a really good question. That is a really good question that I think maybe that this isn't, this this should go to Big Church Key. Maybe I, you I think should probably this be a better question key. for Big Church Key. I don't know. My um, opinion is. Moving on. <laughs> Ethan and Owen, what kind of birthday party should I have? Superhero or Mario? By Silas. I say Mario. Mario. Mario is a big Mario, cool. Mario's, Mario Mario's fan. Cool. However, are you a Luigi or a Mario fan? Because if you're a Mario fan, I mean, you're wrong. Luigi is better. A what? Luigi is way better. Green's a better color than red. Luigi's cooler than red. He's got a better mustache. He's the better plumber. But Mario like, is like the original guy. Like he, uh, he's Lu that guy. Luigi, Luigi's just that. Luigi's just a bro. He's just cool. Lu Luigi's better. Luigi's better. Right. Why is Fredward green? So actually, I have the answer to this. Okay. You know, our interns, they bathed Fredward recently and his shampoo has this green dye in it. And that's why he's green. Fredward is actually purple, but he uses green shampoo, so he so he's green, so he fits in the trash can. I thought it was because like he was trying to like blend in with the jungle environment. He needs to like, it's oh, like camouflage. So like, so, yeah, yeah. So, so or like, honestly, you know what it could be is that the trash can, it's like really stinky and like gross. And there's all sorts of like grime and mold and maybe Fredward's just moldy. That's really gross. Good thing we have interns to give Fredward a bath. Yeah. Well guys, I'm Ethan. And I'm Owen. And we're back to bring you another no, moment of um, random fan mail. Wait, but that's our intro. Wait, wait, you said we're back to? Yeah. Oh. This was another <laughs> moment <laughs> of random. Hi friends. We hope you've enjoyed your time on Story Street. I sure have. Hey, come back for our next adventure as we learn all about what God made.